welcome to today's tutorial so this is question 2 from tutorial sheet uh, 2 so we're going to be simplifying um, asserts without using a calculator yeah so some of the question or rather some of the answers might involve SADS as uh, as the instruction has been given all right so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you do so by clicking on the subscription button and then after doing that click on the notification button if you have any questions feel free to ask me or to contact me on any of these lines on the screen either on whatsapp telegram or just a direct call and i'll be there to respond to you all right so let's quickly start solving the uh, question so the question is simplify the following without choosing a calculator answers may involve sides so the first one is the square root of 18 so the square root of 18 can also be written as the square root of 3 times uh, 6 can also be written as the square root of uh, 2 times 9 yeah so you can you can get any types of multiples that you have and then you write them under the sad so in this case I'm going to get this one because they want me to simplify the expression so yeah so the first thing that we're going to do is to write the square root of 18 there then we said we're going to use 2 times 9 so 2 times 9 can also be the square root of 2 times 9 can also be written as the square root of 2 times the square root of 9 so this one is just the square root of 2 times the square root of 9 is 3 so the answer will therefore be uh, 3 root 2 so this is the answer for the first one let's look at the second one so the second one can also be written as so the root of 20 can also be written as the square root of 4 times 5 so the square root of 4 times 5 is just the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. So the square root of 4, we know to say it's 2. Then the square root of 5 will remain like that. It's an irrational number. So the answer is simply just 2 root 5. Let's move on to this one. So 24 can also be written as... Uh, we find a perfect square that can go into 24. We know that 4 can go into 24. How many times? Six times. We know that um, I think that's the only perfect square that can go there. So we have the square uh, the square root of 24 can also be written as the square root of 4 times 6. So this one can also be written as uh, the square root of 4 times the square root of 6, which is just the same as 2 times the root of 6, which is just the same as 2 root 6. So we can also move on to this one. Okay, so 32, we can also find a perfect square that can go into 32. We know that 4 can go into 32, and the other perfect square, I think, is um, 16 can also go into 32. So the root of 32 can also be written as uh, uh, 16, uh, the root of 16 times 2, which is just the same as the root of 16 times the root of 2. Uh, so the root of 16 is 4 and then times the root of 2. This is the answer. So we move on to 40. So 40 can also be written as, uh, so the square root of 4, to find a perfect square that can go into 40, we know that 8, uh, rather 8 is not a perfect square. We can find a perfect square that can go into uh, 40 and this is no other than, so we have 4, 4 can go so we can write this as 4 times 10, which is just the same as the root of 4 times the root of 10. Okay, so this one can also be written as 2 times the root of 10. So this is just 2 root 10. So 45. So in 245, 9 can go into 45. So we can write 45. The square root of 45 can also be written as times 9 times 5 so 9 times 5 gives us 45 so this one is just the same as the root of 9 times the root of 5 which gives us 3 times the root of 5 the final answer will therefore be equal to 3 root 5 so we go into 48 so 48 we know that um, 4 can go into 48 but apart from 4 which other perfect square can go into 48 16 so the root of 48 can also be written as the root of 
16 times uh, 3 which is just the root of 16 times the root of 3 so the root of 16 is 4 times the root of 3 so the answer will just be 4 root 3 50 so 50 we also have to do the same so which perfect square can go into 50 25 can go, can do that so this one can also be written as uh, 25 times 2 which can also be written as the square root of 25 times the root of 2 then the square root of 25 is 5 times the root of 2 so the answer will simply just be 5 root 2 54 which perfect square can go into 54 we know that 9 can go there how many times 6 times so when you divide uh, 54 by 9 the answer is 6 so 54 can also be written as 9 times 6 which can also be written as the, the square root of 9 times the square root of 6 and then the square root of 9 is simply just 3 times the root of 6 so this is the answer so 72 which perfect square can go into 72 we know that 72 can also be divided by 9 and the answer is 8 so we know to say 72 can also be written as 9 times 8 which is just the same as um, yeah so this one can also be written as 9 times 8 which is just the same as uh, the square root of 9 rather not 3 we write it properly so 72 can also be written as I think we also have another perfect square which can go into uh, 72 apart from 9 that is uh, 30 uh, is it um, uh, 72 can also we, we also have I think uh, okay let's set with 9 and then we'll see what to follow so we have the square root of 9 times 8 so this one will just give us the, the square root of 9 times the square root of 8 so we have this and the answer will simply just be 3 root 8 but 8 can also be simplified further how can we do that? So we have 3 root 8 can also be written as 3 times. Root 8 is, is also uh, simplified to 2 times 4. So this one is going to be 3 times the root of 2 times the root of 4. So we have 3 times the root of 2 times. The root of 4 is simply just 2. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. So this would be 6 root 2. Let's move on to 135. So 135, we also find a perfect square that can go into 135. So a perfect square that can go into 135 is, we have 9. So this can be written as 9 times 15. So this is just the same as the square root of 9 times the square root of 15, which gives us 3 root 15. So 15 can also be written as 3 times 5. Yeah, so I think there is no other way we can write this. This is a, this is just the final answer. So we move on to 625, which is the last one there. So 625 can also be written as 25 times... Uh, oh, this is 675, not 25, sorry. So 675 can also be written as... So this one can also be written as uh, the square root of 25 times 39. Um, oh sorry not 39 27 rather so this one can be written as the square root of um, let me just write it properly okay so this one can be written as the square root of 25 times 27 we we'll also come and break down the 27 so the square root of 25 uh, times the square root of 27 so we have the square root of 25 is 5 and then root 27 can also be there so root 27 can also be broken further into a perfect square so this can be written as so we have 5 root 27 which can also be written as 5 root and then 27 can also be written as 3 times 9 so this is also just the same as 5 times the root of 3 times uh, the root of 9 so this is just here there's supposed to be multiplication which is just the same so we have 5 times root 3 times root 9, the answer is 3. 
So 3 times 5, the answer is 15, and then we have the root of 3 there. So this is the answer for 625. Alright, thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. See you in the next tutorial sheet, ra rather in the next tutorial video that we're going to have. We are we're going to be solving question 3. My name is Hamted. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the button that says subscribe so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be solving. See you in the next video. Shalom, shalom.